So here's one of my trailers for the lawn mowing crew. I've got my grandstand on it and I've got two 21 inch mowers. I, you know, you may think that this is overkill, a lot of equipment on this trailer. I just like to make sure that there's no downtime. So if any equipment breaks down, we have another backup. And then when they get back to the shop, we can take it to the, the mechanics or, you know, just replace whatever was broke. And then so we can continue on with no downtime. So that's kind of why I tend to over stock my trailer but you don't need that much stuff especially to get started but with all the houses that we usually have on our routes again i just like to make sure that we don't have any downtime and all the equipment was working so with that said i i have um, the three trimmer holders um, these trimmer racks i bought from trailerracks.com and i like the three because i always like to take a stick edger to all the houses and do that first and then we trim around the houses and trees and all that kind of thing. Um, you can get these trimmer racks from trailerracks.com. I'll put a link of that on the bottom of the video so you can visit that website and take a look at some of the things they have. They also sell a trimmer spool that's on the other side of this trailer and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so again, on this trailer I had them weld a basket so I can put the gas tanks on it and the air blowers. I also like to have a bucket with the the rake holders over there and I, with the shovel and, and I have a shovel, rake, and the water key to turn the water on and off. And, and I mentioned the bucket specifically because on all the houses that have dog dogs and there's dog mess like dog poop, we usually tell the customer that to pick that up, we add five to seven dollars on that visit. Um, so we carry buckets with us in case we have to do that. It's a great upsell, so I definitely suggest that you look into that. Um, I also have a water cooler on all the trailers strapped to it, and that way the guys can have something to drink and stay hydrated. Um, and then on the first time mows or the houses that have a lot of thick edging for the first time when we go there. Um, so we like to take this on, put this on the trailer as well, so when we get to that house, this power edger just goes right through those thick um, grass edgings where the sidewalk and grass meet and the driveways. Um, and so this, this just goes through it really quick and you just save so much time with this thing. Um, so anyway, that's my setup.